um, I think you see me as a face there as well, um, although I see the presentation. Uh, but nice to meet everyone. Um, thank you for the ones that joined, the ones that uh, signed up and are gonna hear this in the recording after. Um, we really created this as a platform for you to make sure that you have an option to for, for easy gift giving and, and a new way to engage your donors and new donors in the public. They wanna give in a different way. And we see a lot of interesting trends happening right now recently around um, donors' behaviors and how they uh, now looking for ways to give meaningfully and impactfully uh, outside of regular cash, which is very important. But for um, some people, um, they need a different way. So uh, this is where Genius comes to be. Uh, and so my name is Debbie Berenson. I'm uh, one of the co-founders and CEO of Genies. Uh, Genies is a platform that was created really in an interesting story. There, um, I'm a mom of two. Uh, boys and uh, with my second boy, my youngest uh, son Liam, when he was born about three and a half, uh, four years ago, we uh, did a quick party for the baby and we actually received the same gift four times. Um, I have this gift next to me. Uh, this was the gift. I don't know if you see my screen. Um, but we really realized that sparked the idea of uh, how gifting can be meaningful. We really felt bad for people for spending a lot of uh, time and effort thinking about gifts for us when we actually needed other baby items. Um, and so this is how it all began. Um, and then we worked at, on Genie's at nights, kind of a, a small team. And in October 19, we realized that what we created actually closes a huge gap for the nonprofit space and um, for people like you in the room and, and your peers. Uh, to facilitate meaningful giving, especially on behalf of your families. Uh, so the families in the public, they don't really have a good way right now to ask for donations uh, of, of items without kind of sharing their names or profiles on Facebook. So uh, what we created really helped close that gap. So Jimmy's is all about giving gifts in a meaningful way, uh, product and service giving. So um, this is really relevant for you right now for the holiday season that is coming up. So think about what else can you do right now, especially with the COVID-19 situation uh, to help yourself facilitate meaningful giving. So why we do this, uh, we wanna create a really meaningful connection between donors and families because families need essentials uh, now more than ever. Um, donors are looking for new ways to give and you as nonprofits really struggle in two ways have, that we found one is to connect them meaningfully, to connect the donors and the families. And second, really to facilitate the logistical aspect of uh, in-kind donations. So usually what happens is nonprofits need to fundraise for items. They need volunteers to manage the collection of items, collection of wish list, of specific wish list. If it's families of kids, different ages, different sizes, allergies, anything that they, it's really specific for family. Uh, and then you need to actually go deliver all these items to these families and their uh, houses. So uh, there's a lot of logistical um, kind of difficult and challenge that, that happens here. So we're here to change the way people give. And so how it works in a nutshell, um, and definitely please put all your questions in chat. Um, usually I'm, I'm going through them uh, really quickly uh, as well here, but if you have any additional questions, we would love to hear them. So we work with nonprofits like everyone in the room right now. We work with nonprofits uh, to get uh, to make sure that they are vetting the families on Genies. They themselves can create a wish list on Genies uh, as well as their families. And not uh, not everyone in the public can be a family in need on Genies. This is why we work with nonprofits so that they're the ones choosing these families. And families receive special unique invitation codes to create their wish list on Genies. And then their wish list is actually immediately uh, visible for donors in the public. And then donors can go purchase these items right away. Um, and they are sent directly either to the home address of the family or to the organization, depends on how the organization decides to do that. And then uh, we're actually sending a thank you note for the donor. And they can also request tax receipts if uh, you are a charity. Um, so some tax, some wish list um, there is an, an option to say if it's taxable wishlist or not. So if you're a charity, you're, you are able to give tax receipts to your donors. 
And so how the app looks like, and just to give you a quick example, uh, just so you have a visual, um, if you go to genes.co, uh, you can go to wish lists, just so um, to give you an example of how that looks like. We are available across Canada, uh, but those are provinces right now that are active. Um, of course, donors can choose whatever cause they want to support. So they're able to find something very specific to what they want to contribute to. And just to give you an example of how family looks like, um, a family will stay anonymous completely um, and do, they do have an option to share a little bit of a story about themselves. So this is, for example, a full-time student with four daughters. Uh, and so they came from Zaik, which you probably heard about or know, it's a charity here in BC. Um, this is two adults, four children, and this is a taxable wish list, like I said. And so these are some of the items that they have listed for themselves with the specific sizes that they need and some of the items that were already granted to them. So this is how uh, wish lists look like. Um, you can also go to nonprofits just to see what other nonprofits are doing and how you can get listed. And, and so there's a lot of nonprofits here that have listed uh, things for themselves and for their families as well. Okay. Going back, we definitely have um, two mobile apps, so iOS and Android, which means on iPhone and Android, uh, people can download that as well. Um, and we have a new organization app uh, that just launched uh, a couple of weeks ago. So just to go through how your families or yourself will be able to create a wish list, that's really um, kind of a quick flow. Um, when Families are getting listed on Genies. They're able to log in and um, uh, sign up as a, as a gift receiver. And then they have categories of items. Uh, we have categories from local products to baby products, uh, household items, anything that they really need uh, as necessities. They can also search for different items themselves, choose whatever size, color, uh, preference they need. And their watch list is available right away. And so from a donor perspective, this is a mobile flow. Uh, however, we, we reviewed the web flow as well. Uh, uh, a donor will be able to see a wish list right away and then receive a thank you note after that. So these are some of the organizations that are available in Canada right now. It's always changing um, as new organizations coming to, uh, um, to create their wish list. Um, we are available in US, just as a side note. Uh, it's more of a beta right now, so we're beta testing. There are some differences between Canada and US, but if you are interested to know about US, uh, please let us know. We work with different communities. We want to impact um, everyone. Uh, we know that there are a lot of smaller nonprofits that would probably benefit uh, from Genies even more. Uh, because their resources are are, are less, and uh, we definitely encourage nonprofits, uh, smaller nonprofits, to join as well. Uh, use Genies as a platform to drive different kinds of of giving now. And just some success stories, um, we work with Young Street Mission. It's in Toronto, uh, a big organization actually in Toronto, and so they did a quick uh, toy drive with us last year. They're doing it again this year, especially because everything was online, so they couldn't facilitate their uh, regular events. Um, so this is, was a, a great success story where they impacted over 250 families through Genies. And some testimonials, again, we will send this all to you after, so you can definitely do that after. Um, these were actually thank you notes from families in our first holiday season. Uh, we, When we started Genies in October 19th, we started with two uh, organizations here in BC, BCAT Student Association and Burnaby Neighbor House were our first organization that helped us create this product, uh, product really ma making sure that this is valuable and helpful for the community and for you as a nonprofit. Okay, so what can you do and how could this help you, especially this year and um, the years to come? So you need to establish for yourself what are your needs. And some organizations are coming specifically because they have organizational needs. You actually need things for the office, for to run your uh, organization, or to make sure that your prog programs have some um, additional support. So those are probably some of your needs that uh, we have seen before. Maybe you need bulk items. Uh, maybe you need just a new way to engage your donors outside of cash. Uh, but we found that a lot of donors want to give, but if it's $20 that they have, 
they don't feel that their $20 will make a lot of difference for you in cash, but $20 will, might be able to, to purchase uh, diapers for a family um, or something for you for the office, which is uh, actually making a difference. So um, this is how you should look at your organizational needs. And then if you, so if you are supporting families, uh, shelters, different locations, um, we can 100% uh, support your families directly and send to their office, uh, sorry, home, home addresses or other locations of shelters that you're supporting. Um, so definitely something to review if you have uh, too many families asking for help or um, you're manually currently collecting any wish lists. Um, those are some opportunities for you. Um, a side note, we can do cash donations on Genies. It's not our core um, uh, offering, but we can do that. We actually added that as part of um, COVID-19 um, uh, adaptation. We want to make sure that you have everything in one place. So, so we can do cash donations on Genies where um, without any percentage just goes to Genies. Okay, so what can you do uh, on Genies in terms of an organization? So uh, like we said, you have products that you can list, you can create a fundraiser. And if you are creating a fundraiser for cash, what we ask is that it will be very specific um, because donors that are coming to Genies, they're looking for that specific need uh, and that direct impact they uh, wanna feel. Secondhand products are really interesting. We actually have an option for donors to list secondhand items for free to be visible to only the community on Genies. So think about it as a free Craigslist only for families in need and nonprofits. So um, families and yourself are able to ask for secondhand items uh, on Genies as well. And we have groceries, electronic gift card for groceries and all um, uh, integrated in Genies, which means that you can ask for electronic gift cards that you can use for all low, low locations, which is superstores, um, shoppers, Joe Fresh, and um, so on. Your families can also ask for two additional things. They can ask for dental services. There's currently available in BC, which means that we're um, integrating with local service providers, local dentists um, in uh, two locations right now in BC and they can ask for funds to be allocated specifically for dental treatments. And additionally, we have integrated just in the last quarter with uh, a partner called 2X Education, which is an online platform for learning. And so you, uh, your families can list um, English lessons, which is four lessons at $100, um, and homework help uh, support for your kids uh, or for the kids of the families uh, that you're supporting in different languages. Okay, so I'm going to ask, uh, I'm going to answer a few questions that are usually the next questions that are being asked. So can we provide uh, tax receipts? Uh, yes. So usually what we do is we connect the donor with the, the charity that provides tax receipts um, and give all the, the details about the donor to the charity to provide the regular tax receipts as usual. In the future, Genius continues to grow. Uh, there is a smoother integration coming. Um, Right now, it's passing the information of the donor to the um, to the nonprofit or sorry to the charity to be able to process regularly. Uh, last two questions that we're getting asked the most is is data secure? Uh, the answer is yes because the servers are separated between Canada and US, and of course we're using the the, uh, the latest um, uh, protocols in, in privacy and security. So um, definitely let us know if you need to know a little bit more there. There's uh, more terms and privacy uh, policies. And also some of the families are struggling with language barriers. And I know um, firsthand, um, uh, I talk three languages, so it definitely has uh, some barriers there myself. Um, so we actually have videos about how to create a wish list on Genies in different languages that we translated. We also have a great diverse team um, that can always bounce each other and help uh, support your families directly. Okay, so how much does Genies cost and is it free? Um, so interestingly enough, we have, like I said, launched a new beta website for nonprofits to manage their families and their donations. Um, 
It's called uh, Genius Web App for uh, Organizations. And so because we launched that, we wanted to uh, launch it as beta to make sure that a lot of nonprofits can join um, and test it out and give us feedback and we can learn together and make it better. Uh, so we currently have a grant for nonprofits to join Genies for free until the end of this year. And then they're, they're joining for one year free completely. Uh, usually Genies is, um, uh, cost uh, $200 an annual, uh, so for the full year, uh, with 30 days free trial. Uh, and this is because we need to make sure that we're getting a lot of learning from you so that you prioritize and actually commit to using Genies. A um, couple other things to know, and then uh, uh, a, sh a short break there for, for questions. Um, we actually encourage um, donors to give throughout the year, not only in the holiday season. There's a lot of events and fundraisers that you probably do throughout the year. So we help with some marketing efforts, some uh, awareness pieces uh, throughout the year. And this is those are the causes that we support throughout the year. So Q1 is women and children. Uh, Q2 is newcomers and refugees. Uh, Q3 is education and mental health. And now we're actually heading into uh, our holiday season, which is um, a lot of different holidays that are happening in this uh, season. So we encourage you to think about what does that mean to you? What type of events you have throughout the year that we can help you facilitate? Um, if it's specifically, uh, I know that uh, March is um, uh, women focus. Um, we want to help you collect uh, pads, uh, any anything that you need, maybe diapers for kids. We have cloth diapers integrated with Ngini. So Think about how can we help you throughout the year, facilitate all your in-kind donations. And then once you come into Genies, we actually have a, a great support system for you. We have a communication engagement lead uh, that is with you throughout um, your success on Genies. Uh, so one of the things is definitely the, the technology is super easy. You can uh, go get listed um, same day get your uh, wish list created really quickly, invite your families uh, if you have them, you don't have to. And I will help you with mar some marketing materials to share it with donors that already know you and support you. Uh, and then we're checking in and we're helping to think about what are some of the other ways that we can help with donations. And just to close off, um, those are some thank you notes that we received last year actually when face-to-face um, -face, uh, events were not uh, feasible, so uh, it's all kind of done throughout technology. Last slide, um, very interesting new program that we have that was launched about three weeks ago. It's called Empower Employees with Giving. And so think about if you have corporations companies that are supporting you or want to support you, we actually have a new way to support you um, in a new platform for them. Uh, there's very interesting that a lot of companies are really excited about this uh, coming now. So what that means is companies are able to give an X amount of dollars per employee to give on Genies to any cause that they support. So companies really looking to create a culture of giving, uh, create a culture that inspires others to, to do good in their community. So this is a, a really great way to encourage your corporations to be involved this holiday season. And that's it. Um, in terms of uh, genies, I would love to share some kind of learnings or anything that you might be interested in know uh, about how this works. Um, but I'm going to pass it to just to see if there are any other questions. Uh, let me just unshare my screen quickly. Okay, I Perfect. see a lot of questions coming. Yeah, so I think we've got a great question here actually from mm -hmm. Henry Falk coming in who says, you know, the CRA has very strict rules for issuing tax receipts for in-kind giving, which yep. requires an actual assessment in some cases of that gift before issuing a tax receipt. How do you work with that right now? Yeah, so interestingly enough, some um, um, charities have asked us um, that all the donations will be sent to them first, and then they will be the ones handing it out. Uh, not all charities are asking for it because I think with the recent um, occurrences, especially the last uh, two years now since COVID, um, 
those items that don't have to come in to the organization. Um, and so I would suggest go and check with your specific situation. Some nonprofits that are not issuing tax receipts will just re ask us to send it directly to the families. If you are um, sending tax receipts, if you are a charity, uh, then please check it for yourself specifically because you might just want the donations to come to you and then you would be handing it out, especially in the holiday season. I would recommend doing that just because you also want to create an event or a social event for them or uh, some kind of uh, interesting way for to you to continue the, that engagement with your families. So please check it out. Uh, there are um, several different rules there. Check what uh, applies to you. Uh, we it's really easy for us to direct the donations either here or there. So we we'll really work with you and your um, your needs really closely. So that actually brings a related question that came up earlier. And some of these I think you may have tackled along the way, mm -hmm. um, which was, so this is open not just to charities, but also to nonprofits who, of course, don't right. have the same tax or sitting worries. Correct. Yeah, exactly. And for us, we accept nonprofits or above. Uh, which means any organization that is not a nonprofit cannot be on Genie, so they have to be uh, registered uh, nonprofit to be on Genie's. Um, and that the, the the reason that we do that is because we don't want to lose the trust of the donors that are coming into Genie's. Uh, the donors know that nonprofits and charities are the one choosing these families, and they're not just coming from uh, from the public. Um, and so how we communicate it to the donor, like I said, um, every wish list has an option to say taxable wish list or not. So uh, we help you communicate that to your donors. So there's a question then around that donor ownership piece. So I send, you know, this giving page to my existing donors. They they sign up, they request some stuff. Who owns that that data? Like are the people who gave to my page also going to be cross promoted to other giving opportunities across the platform or how does that part work great question so uh what's interesting here is we are cross pollinating donors between um, organizations which is a huge opportunity for nonprofits organizations so what that means is if a different nonprofit or a different organization brought their own donors into the community of genies those donors can actually pick your organization or your families based on their causes that they want to support and vice versa. Um, we're actually not keeping any data about the donors. There's nothing, it's it's completely anonymous. Donors have an option, especially for the tax receipt, to put some information there. Um, and we're asking every donor if they want to share information with the nonprofit. We want them to share their emails at least with the nonprofits or organizations they're supporting so that we can send that to you for you to put it in your um, mailing list. And so encourage donors to add to your pool of donors. Um, so we do that, but it's completely up to the donor to decide if they want to share their information with you, yes or no. Uh, but this is really a great environment to create new networks, new communities where we ask each nonprofit to share it with their community and bring um, bring new interested um, supporters to to your families. So, how are you finding in kind donors as opposed to the more traditional cash donors? So, my question is: Are you seeing people able to convert a donor that started as an in kind donor into, say, like a monthly cash donor, or do you find that they live in different worlds and it's hard to convert them to the different channels? Great question. So, and we can all reflect back at ourselves and say, how do we become donors? We become donors because we are we can connect to a problem. We can connect to an issue that we feel really strongly about, um, and we trust the 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 party that receives that gift. Um, and so, uh, two things there. One is we are seeing a trend of other generations coming to, to, to genies, uh, new generations that are not used to giving cash, um, they, they want that transparency. They want that mobile giving really quickly. Um, and that those are the audiences that you should expect from genies um, out, outside of reg regular cash donations. But we do want to continue and engaging them in new ways for you. Um, this is why we added that cash option, is if you're bringing a donor that doesn't really know what in-kind donations is. Now they have both options in the app uh, to be able to give to you. So 
you, you should look at it from two perspectives. One is you're actually engaging new generations in a different way that is really transparent to them, which is very important for, for these new generations. Um, and second, um, recurring, you mentioned monthly donations. We want to send their emails back to you to continue engaging in your own programs. And monthly donations and recurring donations is actually that something, the next thing that we're working on that is coming early next, next year to be able to continue engaging these donors and bringing them to trust your organization and your support and your um, uh, and the influence that you're creating around you. But that's really interesting to talk about this as a way to build trust because people can see very tangibly the outcomes of their money. And once they've got that trust, then you can see if they want to give in other ways. Exactly. So how can I bring this opportunity to my existing donor base? Like, what are some of the best communication strategies you've seen for going to an existing donor base with this new kind of giving opportunity? Great question. So part of the onboarding on Genies is within the first 48 hours, you're creating your wish list. We're, I was actually on a call today because one of our communication engagement they couldn't join today. Um, so I was just helping them set, it, set their wish list up uh, really quickly. And then the next step after that, we're actually giving you all marketing materials to share with your network. So how to bring donors happens on two, two ways at Genies. One, we help you share this with the world. And the reason that we do that with amazing, nice marketing uh, uh, kits and marketing uh, materials that bring people to your wish list directly to your link that you're receiving. Um, and the reason that we do that is because we know that you have a community of supporters, but they don't have a lot of different ways to give. So we want to make sure that you can connect with your community that already trusts you and give them a new way to give, especially in the holiday season. And then the second one, we do have marketing teams of our own um, that uh, uh, do a lot of marketing initiatives, like you, like I mentioned throughout the year, um, to help bring new donors into the system, new donors to, to all the organizations on Genies. Uh, and so this is a kind of a partnership uh, where we help with different communication pieces. Um, all the design, everything everything that you need is actually done within Genies. So we, we would help um, and would love to, to support you with any uh, specific needs. Uh, what we recommend is uh, three things. One, put us on your website. Um, it's not us, it's actually your wish list. Uh, so you you actually get in the first day of your uh, signing up, you receive a special link that brings people to your wish list. So we encourage you to put this on your website right away um, so to give them another option. Second, social media. So we'll give you all the posters, anything that you need for this. And third, email marketing um, to your um, mailing list already. And you have templates then would support those those different kinds of marketing sources. That's exactly. that's great because it brings me to my last question, which is, how long does it take me to fire up one of these campaigns? Like, so say we're interested. Um, like, how long does it take me to go from saying I'm interested to getting to launching that first giving page? Funny enough, technology is super super quick, <laughs> uh, which is why we're here. So. Um, you would actually get set up on Genius same day. So once you sign up, there's a form. Uh, just so because we need to know, there's an online form, of course. Uh, just because we need to know a little bit about you, we need your logo, we need your description, we need to verify your, your registered nonprofit. Um, and so once that form is in, same day, within uh, 24 hours, actually, um, you're listed on Genies. And then all you need to do is go with your special invitation code and start creating a wish list uh, on a mobile app. Um, and the fun, we had people saying, oh, it's basically like shopping. Yes, you will create your wish list of specifically what you need. Um, and then it's immediately visible to everyone. So the magic of technology is super, super quick. And within one day, um, you can have your wish list out there. That's it. Nice. Well. Libby, thank you so much for joining us today and introducing us to Genies. Um, I'm pretty excited about this as, you know, an interesting new tool that's coming out of here, you know, the Vancouver Lower Mainland. Um, and it's free to play with for a year, which is, I think, a really interesting offer and a, one of the places for nonprofits who should always be 
experimenting to to play with, it, especially maybe you know either in the lead up to the holiday giving season or maybe right after once you finally you know breathe deeply and are ready to go all in us, again. All of us. <laughs> Yes, 100%. So I've dropped the link into the chat. Um, and for everyone who's here, if you maybe missed some of this, we'll re make sure the recording is available to you after the fact as well. So you can follow up with any of the details we talked about today. Thank you so much, Eli. Thanks for inviting and making it available for, for everyone. Such a pleasure. Delighted to have you here. And uh, and again, once you're ready to go bigger in the US, talk to me and like, we'll <laughs> talk about other opportunities. I will. I will. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Lovely. All the best. Thank you all. Bye, everyone.